Yep. Highly anticipated. Um, John Colion, chilling with my man's A Hall. Shout out to Rashad Fry. Shout out to the boy Miklo. Pac Man Squad, Trip Set, Skorilla Gorilla Entertainment. I see you, Hood Money. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Fame and Money. This is, uh, we, we actually recording at my residence. That's real nigga shit for you. Oh, yeah. Fuck all the, you know, normal shit. You feel me? Normies. <laughs> I'm about to be bad as shit. She see this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna keep it fucking with you? I keep it fucking with you. No bullshit. Shit smell good though. Man, so we working on uh, dropping uh, price check one. We got uh, VA's best kept secret covered out. That should be out after about two weeks after price check drop. That when it actually gets dropped, of course, we ain't going to interfere with our own team. You know what I'm saying? Success. I mean, we could just slap you upside the head with them drunks at the same time, but let everybody get their, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Their buzz go at it. You know what I mean? The big tapes. You know, we just Rashad, uh, we shot uh, the High Haters video for Rashad. Shout out to Postmod TV, the boy Rico on the jump. You know what I mean? That's for you. <laughs> Shout out to All Good Productions. We shot Young C's video last night and uh, did a little cypher cameo and shit. You know what I mean? So you can check them jokes out when they up. Uh, they probably be up. What do your next week? Um, yeah. Hell yeah. So uh, at this time... I feel it's time to uh, introduce you to the newest member of uh, Anticipated. So, uh, say no more. Yeah. It's your boy, Jeezy. You know, fuck with the highly anticipated. You already know. Working on my mixtape, you know what I'm saying? From Brooklyn to VA. Look out for that shit. Oh, yeah. Look out for that, you know. Just made my new song, Violence Money, Drill Honeys. I'm saying niggas is really fucking with that shit right now. We about to do the remix too. I'm saying so look out for that shit too. Rashad Price and John Corleone gonna be on that shit. Oh uh, yeah. Shit's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough on y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and niggas I'm like, where these motherfuckers come from? But uh, we just on some everyday shit. Out the ass, nigga. <laughs> just shitting on y'all, huh? Shit on niggas. Y'all better check out toilets. Live a nice little surprise and did not flush for you. Smell that shit for a week, my nigga. And then we'll have some some new shit for you. Oh, yeah. Some new shit in your toilet every week. That's what we aiming for. You know what I'm saying? We go by anticipated for a fucking reason, dog. You understand? Y'all niggas, you know what I'm saying? Y'all haven't heard. You know, we're not dropping every track that we've made. You know what I'm saying? We not. So you know what I mean? Y'all have to y'all have to truly listen to the music when the music's here and you know what I'm saying? I just felt I just personally felt that it was a a great job. You know what I mean? When I heard your shit, I just felt like, yo, you know what I mean? This is where you belong, you belong with me, you belong close to me and shit like that and uh we could do shit, man, for real. Cause your shit inspired me to wanna spit, you know what I'm saying? And I can't say that every artist honestly makes me do that. You know what I mean? You know, initially that started with Biggie for me. Then that stuff went to Wayne, and then, you know what I'm saying, the J, certain J tracks. And, of course, you hear random-ass, fire-ass shit from just some random-ass artists who just made it. And that beat will make you spit, too. But, uh, you know what I mean? When you start, can, when you can say that your, your homie, you know what I mean, your homie, or a nigga that you just know, You know what I mean? Like, this is the nigga that did that track. That's that nigga, yo. You know what I'm saying? That's the nigga I know. <laughs> and of course, y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? But that's good because the music will speak for itself. At the time, y'all will see. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna know who I am. Y'all gonna see me. I'm like, where this nigga come from, man? I've been here. So, uh, like, do you have a layout? How many tracks are you shooting I mean, for with uh, Brooklyn to VA? Yeah, I mean, probably like, you know what I'm saying? I got a couple tracks, you know what I'm saying, but not all of them just gonna be on there. You know, I'm probably, probably like about ten songs on there. 
you know, on the mixtape, you know, not too much, you know what I'm saying, I ain't gonna hear all my shit. That's that anticipated shit, dog. Yeah. We just gonna cook up, we gonna cook up a whole meal. waiting for it, you know what I'm saying? We gonna cook a whole meal, dog, and just put what we feel, you know what I mean, will make y'all look at us like y'all cannot deny us. You can't. You know what I mean? You can't. You know what I mean? And and uh, even A. Hall, A. A. Hall hasn't even heard all of our shit, but off of what he heard, you know what I mean? What did you think off of, you know what I'm saying, some of the shit that we have in the lab that nobody's seen? Oh, shit, it's tough, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking that's some industry shit, you know? You know what I'm saying? Building the music like that, you know what I'm saying? Niggas is really gonna fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I have shit. We also have emails, you know what I'm saying, that we can access right now. You know what I mean? To show y'all bitch ass niggas that I actually am talking to two labels off my first mixtape now regardless of what you think of that. You understand? And because I said this on camera, after this little session of being out here, remind me, you remind me to show you that. Niggas is gonna definitely be reminded when they see this shit. See, I niggas Yeah. This isn't the whole conversation of uh, me and Paramus and shit um, from the first mixtape. Who I happened to meet, uh, shout out to Katala, TC, I see you, boy. But uh, you know what I'm saying? And um, track, you know, they was asking for the track list, so I sent them the track list and shit. And, uh, you know, I tried to call your mom, gave you a new number and shit. The executive vice president's coming to town this weekend. You know what I'm saying? I met with them and shit. You can see, you know what I'm saying? The parents and all that shit in there. That's all bull. You know what I'm saying? But uh, they was talking about, you know, signing with them for five years and getting 50% of my master's. And I was like, I didn't even know what that meant. You know what I'm saying? Because I was just, I was just spitting. You know what I'm saying? I just came home and shit. I didn't even know what that meant. You want the truth? You know what I'm saying? I, I studied some, I studied some stuff. I studied some billboard hit list and who, you know what I'm saying? And. You know what I mean? I was more focused on my stuff, you know, real talk. And, uh, you know, I, I'm learning that you have to be constantly informed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's crazy, yeah. but uh, I'm learning, dog. And it's, it's, it's a blessing because we're still in year one. She, you know, you know, I was told that you had gone to jail. Is this true? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm straight up with them. You know what I'm saying? I've been in jail. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I had a quick concern. You know what I'm saying? Uh the reason I'm concerned is that if we're thinking about signing potential artists, I cannot have, you know, negative activities going on. We are a professional music label and deal only with hard work and professional people. Now, I was told that you had gone to jail. Is this true? And if so, for what? I don't discriminate against anyone that went to jail, but I'd like to know these things as I get to know the potential artists. You know what I'm saying? Um, Justin, I like shit on Facebook, so I like that shit, you know what I'm saying? They was fucking my shit. Um, you know, hey, is this John I met with the yesterday with your boys Mike and Wami? You know what I'm saying? We met at Miklo's house and shit. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's anticipated functions. It was good meeting with Mike and Wami on Saturday. Like we said, when we met, we like uh, what you guys have, what you can bring to our label. We really like, you know, working from here on up. Some points we discussed, you will have... The mix CD ready for us when we return in three weeks. You will have the four tracks Lauren picked out completed. We gave you a theme for each and roughly what the song should be about. Use all the imagination and creativity that I know that you have and bring on these songs. We do ask that, of course, you limit the curse words in the songs. Remember, we are not going to, you know, for commercial viability and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean... And I did it. You know what I'm saying? The work... The work... A lot of that work is already done. You know what I'm saying? I... I've got eight songs for the album and stuff like that for them, but uh, I think I'm all just going to drop a lot of that stuff on VA's Best Kept Secret, though, because real talk, you know what I'm saying? I'm off my first mixtape, and uh, my second mixtape is about to drop in the same year, like three months later, dog, and there's some fire once again. And you know what I mean? Off the first mixtape, I'll let y'all know that I can spit, but now it's like I do songs, too. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You've seen the battle stuff. If you haven't, you know, you can you can check that shit out. That's uh 
battle against Blank, battle against Kiji, battle against Magic. I spit against all them niggas, and I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Those are freestyles. Niggas say that I'm not a threat, but they're writing their whole, you know what I mean, first round verses. Other niggas are, don't even spit into the time limit. They won't spit unless they wrote some shit or researched some shit. You know what I mean? My shit is not even only if I'm just eating you, nigga. I would just wrap circles around you. That's the thing. You, It doesn't matter what you do, nigga. It doesn't. At mm -hmm. all. You know what I'm saying? Because I do this shit. Like, for real. And it, you know what I mean? Y'all probably, y'all just think, I don't give a fuck, honestly, what you think. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm still doing my second shit. You know what I'm saying? Just got a job and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm hustling. You know what I'm saying? Bro, talk. You know what I'm saying? I got, what we got? We got the that shit. My uncle is the director at the fucking Boys and Girls Club and the director at the Washington Post. Yes, we some certified paper boys. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the Montanez family. That is my God family. Real talk, since I was a little kid. But, uh, yeah, man. They've done great things for me. You know what I'm saying? They, even my own blood hasn't done for me. So, you know what I mean? I'm showing sure love where it's deserved and stuff. And, you know, Unc, Unc got some, Unc's got some stuff for, you know what I'm saying, for us, you know what I'm saying, lined up. And all we have to do is just make, you know, phone calls and shit like that. And, you know what I'm saying, I've been bullshitting on the phone call because me, <laughs> that's one lazy nigga, man. That's my dude, though, of course. That's real shit. All right, now let me give you the, uh, you know what I'm saying, District Soul shit. Look, this is where I look. I began by thanking you for taking the time to read this email before I... Look, hold on, I'll tell you how it starts. This is how the nigga emailed me. Dave was fucking with Wale. Good morning, Mr. Corleone. I began by thanking you for taking the time to read this email. Before I begin, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Emmanuel. You know what I'm saying? I can't even say his name without chopping it up. I think I'm chopping it up, so I ain't even going to disrespect the man like that. But I see you. I am one of the co-founders of the District Soul Entertainment. You were referred to me by a close friend named Tammy. She sent me some of your tracks, websites, and told me you were interested in moving on to the next level. The purpose of all this is to, first of all, introduce myself and also find out what you had in mind. Just to give you a little bit of background information, we began our company in October of 2005. Since then, we've been perfecting our craft in creative hip-hop and R&B tracks. I would enjoy having the opportunity to talk to you and discuss some options that you may or may not be interested in. Here's my cell number. Give me a call if you're interested and we'll take it on from it. There again, I thank you for your time and look forward to hearing from you. When I got that shit, you know what I'm saying? What what would you do if you're an artist? I called a nigga on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sites, you know what I'm saying? So uh, he ended up, uh, you know what I'm saying? He ended up calling me and shit. And uh, I mean, I ended up calling him and shit. And then uh, you know, he uh, you know what I mean? Silver Spring, Maryland. I gotta go out there and shit. And I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got a whip. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's just letting the music speak. I ain't got no promotions and shit like that. Everything that you see, dog, is just like my, my family network of what, you know what I mean, people who work with me, function with me. So it's just like, but positive shit, dog, year one. You know what I'm saying? So you haven't heard of me yet, but like I said, you will. You know what I'm saying? I'm not done yet. Um, no, no. I'm really not done yet. <laughs> as long as the artist that I be listening to continues to drop tracks and shit and keep inspiring me, then, uh, dog. If y'all can tear shit up, why the fuck can't I? <laughs> Are you serious? No bullshit. See, y'all niggas is already, you know what I'm saying, informed about that shit. The niggas know. And, and let it clear speculation, dog. I am not signing with an independent label. I've said it, you know what I'm saying? What can you do for me, dog? You understand? What can you do for me? If your music ain't got fucking business saying that, what are you doing? And yeah, I'm an attention whore nigga because if I ain't everywhere, then what the fuck am I doing? Why well, take the first thing that comes to you, dog? Be patient and let the best thing oh, yeah. possibly that your music, you know what I'm saying, can bring for you, the best dog. Thing that can happen to you, you know what I'm saying, it's just <clears throat> you by surprise. You should. My mom's told me that. Yeah. I 
highly anticipated. And we say highly. Highly. <laughs> Shout out to Top Flight and Random Gay Airplanes, Paper Planes, whatever you use it. <laughs> Yeah. Shout out to Wiz Khalifa, man. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and <laughs> yellow. Hell yeah. And it got signed for five mil, dog. Five Hip hop is not dead, dog. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop is not dead, dog. Hip hop will never be dead, yeah. As long, you know what I'm saying? As long as niggas still got hot, <coughs> yeah. Hip hop is not dead. You know what I'm saying? This is... This is not talking shit. These are just facts. No bullshit. Drake. Five mil, right? Wayne. Connections. Big studio time, right? He's got fucking just straight access to being on the radio. You know what I'm saying? He drops Thank Me Later, dog. Niggas is like, you're not going hard. This nigga's going after the bitches. No shit, dumbass. No the fuck bullshit. is you gay? <laughs> niggas gonna say some shit like that. No bullshit, yeah. What the fuck is you going after that? So he gets an authentic fan base off radio play. Wiz, on the other hand, no connection. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He might got people that can pull a little bit of strings for him, but that's no. there's no label behind that. That nigga's just screaming Taylor Gang. You feel me? Yeah. This nigga generates a fucking authentic fan base within about two years, though. You understand? I remember back when I was 16, niggas was fucking with Wiz Khalifa, dog. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, uh, yeah. I remember fucking take, take away, and no one can take away from me. <laughs> then I heard throw. Oh, yeah, that's my shit. Don't, 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 don't. These niggas hate me. That ain't one in. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to your cat, man. Do a big shit. Oh, yeah. Also, can't forget, shout out to Kane Brown. Shout out to Kane Brown. Shout out to motherfucking Hat Chef. You definitely did your thing, bro. Continue it, man. For real. Oh, man. yeah. I learned from y'all niggas, man. Real talk. I can't say, you know what I'm saying? And it's not easy. It's not easy, you know what I'm saying? But if you truly got some love for this shit, it just, you know what I'm saying? You don't stop, dog. Whether it be battles, whether it be you know, songs, whether it be... When you are something, dog, if you walk it, live it, you know what I'm saying, believe in it, you will achieve it, dog. I'm sure. You know what I'm saying? But then the next... I'm going to say about a year, dog. To the next year, dog. Y'all get VA's best kept secret. I already started forever grinded, dog. My work ethic is crazy. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we yeah. still in gear one, dog. We just making moves, dog. God, man. I say I'm God's child for a reason, dog. If y'all don't understand that shit, you know what I'm saying? I was locked up, dog, in Fairfax County. Oh, yeah. You understand? I ain't never been locked up in Fairfax, but I went to Rikers Island different. before. Two different judges, two different judges. I'm not gonna say that that jail over there was a hellhole. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But if it would have been, or if it was, I would have thought what I did do when I went to jail. I ain't know nobody. I made a shame. Real fucking talk. You know what I'm saying? Had a nigga camp post and shit. Told me straight up, was like, you don't even need that. So I flushed that shit. The next day we had a search. Uh, I made that shit out of a motherfucking chalk eraser. You know what I'm saying? Like if you ever seen chalk. Yeah, they have chalk clips. Yeah. I stole the chalk and the chalk clip and sharpen the car, sharpen the top of the chalk and put the clip at the top and then sharpen the clip. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I could just stick a nigga. <laughs> like, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I had a handle for it too. Like I might have uh, been yeah. young, but you know what I'm saying? If I was I was told something. If you gonna be something, be something to the fullest. You understand? Yeah. To the fullest. So whether it was this or that, I'm doing it with my all. You understand? Shit might go down sour sometimes. But I still did it with my all. You know what I'm saying? That's why I pull clutch now. You know what oh, I'm saying? Yeah. That's why niggas got me. You know what I mean? That's why niggas is, you know what I mean? Fuck it. You know what I'm saying? I delegate myself a leader. But when niggas actually respect you as a leader, that's that's something totally different. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I feel like 
niggas have, you know what I'm saying? But I can't be dependent on other people, you understand? I can't be. I can't be. So I just I just want more and that's why you see me, you know what I mean, busting my ass, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm a, I'm doing shit, but I ain't nobody's father. You know what I'm saying? So you got to take care of your own at the end of the day and shit. But, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. Whatever it need be, I got you. Shit, shit.